Good morning. It is the day we are going to Wimbledon. We just finished work, worked the morning, and Brogan's making lunch, and then we're gonna head down there. My cousin is playing at 2.30 or 3, but we're gonna head down there early, watch some of the other matches, because match play starts at 11 a.m., and then the next round obviously to follow, but it was raining pretty hard this morning and just stopped in the last 30 minutes, so I wonder if there's, there's gonna be a rain delay. So that will mean the day is longer, which is fine. But we're gonna make some lunch right now. I'm gonna go get ready, and then we're gonna head to Wimbledon. Okay, I think I'm having a clothes dilemma, so I could either wear this jacket, which I've been wearing a lot recently, but it's super cute, cute pattern. I got it in the Target Kids section with some like dressier, like a light blue pair of pants and a navy pair of pants and they're cropped. Or I could wear this blazer. It's light orange with like a tighter pair of pants and then just like a white crop top or a bodysuit. Or this vintage skirt that I got. After the biggest mess was made, I made a decision. Sweater. Skirt, it's a little big so I the tide in the back <laughs> but the sweater hides it yeah. what are you wearing um wow this this whole thing <laughs> wow cool you got an umbrella extra phone charger and gum we're ready I'm up. It's a good Starbucks. <laughs> got a lot of hate on the last video for that Starbucks. Really? Yeah. <laughs> People were saying, France? lovely video, but I um, wholeheartedly disagree that Starbucks is the best coffee. But I was completely joking. Ice coffee. Is yeah. Nice. Oh yeah, I should have bought a hat. We made it, we made it to Wimbledon. Walking to gate 13, which is actually by the center court one, to pick up the team tickets. If you guys come to Wimbledon, make sure you get in line, bring your Amex, come to the lounge. Cheers. Okay, so I got the pims. You got what? Kind of gin, Simpson, some Smith drink. South side. It was the Wimbledon South Side. Reporting live from Wimbledon.
What'd you get? Chicken Peter wrap. So people are like actually having afternoon tea. Alright, let's go home and grab some food and come back again tomorrow. I just got back from Wimbledon. My cousin was supposed to play today, an hour or two after we got to Wimbledon. He found out that he won't play until tomorrow. So we stayed for a couple more matches, left Wimbledon, and now we're in Earl's Court, stopping at a Mediterranean place called Cleopatra. What, what did we get? Fries for you. <laughs> for you. <laughs> and hummus. And pita. We're hungry and excited. Chicken sheesh and rice, chips, hummus, and tabula. One of my favorite weeping willows in the city. We don't walk this area that much, but it is so beautiful. All right, Wimbledon day one in the books. We just got home. I feel like we've had a jam packed day actually because. We worked all morning and then around lunchtime, noon, we stopped working, I got ready, bro made us some lunch and we ate before we left and then commuted to Wimbledon, which the commute was so much shorter than I remember. Last year, I remember it being like 45 minutes to an hour, but it was only 15 minutes on the tube and then a 15 minute walk after that. The walk was just through Wimbledon Village till we got to the tennis center and there was just a lot of um, Wimbledon decor on the storefronts and some banners and signage so it made the walk really enjoyable. It's really cool because those tube stations right there decorate the station for Wimbledon so when you walk off the tube the platform is covered in like tennis ball material color like almost like turf and then all of the signs just make it seem like you're actually at Wimbledon, but you're really in the train station. Once we got to Wimbledon, we went to the Amex Lounge, which was really fun. It had awesome views of all the courts, not center court, first court or second court, which like the big named tennis players are at, but all the other ones surrounding, which still have awesome, really great players playing on them. So we had a great rooftop view of that. And then we had just some fun drinks like Pim's. But then we were there for about an hour or so and my cousin's girlfriend texts us that my cousin's match got postponed from today to tomorrow. So that was really unfortunate, one, because we took a half day at work and we'll have to figure out tomorrow what we're going to do with that because obviously I'm going to find a way to go watch and play this year. So that was a really bummer because obviously the players are mentally and physically preparing on that day of just to find out that their match gets postponed. And... As I mentioned earlier, there was some rain, and so it delayed the matches from the 11 a.m. match play time to probably like 1, and then they needed to get matches in today. I think there must have just been like singles matches, I'm not sure, but yeah, so his match got postponed to tomorrow. Still TBD on what time that will be. But yeah, it was an overall really fun day. We ended up going, leaving the Amex lounge and going to meet up with my cousin and his girlfriend, and we went to watch my cousin's old tennis partner play he still plays with him frequently but not at Wimbledon this year he had a new partner they both got new partners and I was playing for four hours and lost in a heartbreaker because it was such a long match so many people were crowding the court watching them so it was just a fun environment to be in and then we ended up watching like one more match kind of got like really tired it hit us um and again we had done Wimbledon last year so it was nice that we kind of like got we knew what to see what to do rather than kind of just like wandering around which is still fun so this year we kind of got the best of both worlds wandered around watched the matches got into the amex lounge this year yeah we ended up taking the tube back to a station called earl's court which is one before ours and 
we had gotten like a little bite at Wimbledon and it was um we just spilled like a chicken wrap and so we stuck to the Mediterranean theme and we went to a place in Earl's Court right at the station called Cleopatra it was really good um we walked in and it just seemed like it was kind of like a divey takeaway spot but it did the job we had some good food and then we decided to walk the 20 minutes home to just kind of walk off our calories and now Brogan's taking out the trash and doing some returns and I need to finish packing because I leave on Friday and so if we're going to get going again to Wimbledon tomorrow I just kind of need to get all my ducks in a row so that's what I'm gonna do tonight and then hopefully we'll just have an early night and then get up start work and we'll know what time he plays tomorrow but yeah it's been a really fun day so Hopefully the last few hours of the night I can be pro productive and then have some time also to chill after. So yeah, I'll keep you updated. Okay. So busy at work, our, we woke up and our Wi-Fi wasn't working so we had to rush to the library. Then we came home for lunch, thought it was gonna be ready, it wasn't. So I had to dart back to the library for a two hour meeting. We are finally dressed and out the door to go to Wimbledon day two. All right, just got off the tube. Now we probably have like a, at least 20 minute walk, don't you think? It's only 15. Well, it's 18 minutes from the train to Wimbledon, like the entrance, and then we have to walk around the entire place, so. That's true. So. I wonder if we can just go Probably 20, 25 maybe? Queue over there in that yard. Bro said you come before 11, you queue. You get tickets, you get to go in, and if you don't, you just go home. This looks cool because your glasses. Rain delay. I think it is 30% mm. chance it's rain. Oh, wait, look at the ball people. You gotta see the ball people. Time up. Sunny. <laughs> well, we're gonna get a sandwich out of it because Allie went upstairs into the players' club, grabbed us a sandwich. And we might get a bathroom break out of it. Maybe she'll bring us some crisps. Brain delay is over. Over. So do what do we drinks. do? Do we get more Gone. drinks? Do we get more drinks? We need more drinks. Or let's go grab our spots. Three more hours of tennis to watch. Let's go grab our spots back. Or you go grab them. Yeah, I think so. I think we split up. And then do I get I'll drinks? Go, I'll go save the spots. You grab food and drinks. Okay. Oh, I see Jackson. Vlaigen and Withrow. Up two sets to one. Let's go. Oh, our bench is going to be wet. Yeah, we're going to have to grab some. Oh, yeah. No, it's soaking. We need a hand? Okay, we made it home after a long, long day. We woke up. We had a bunch of things to do before we needed to leave. 
and our Wi-Fi was out from 9 a.m. to like 2.30. And so we went to the library and worked and we got a lot of things done, which was good. But so then we took the last couple of hours of the day off and headed to Wimbledon, got there and there was a women's doubles set on the court before my cousin was playing. And so it was really cool to actually see them play. It was two Belgians versus one Bulgarian and one Italian and the latter one and they were all so good I don't think I had seen um f from last year to this year a women's match so that was fun to see and after we met up with my cousin's girlfriend my cousin's old partner and we had our own little cheering section and they won the first set lost the second it was pretty close and then they won the third and then it started to rain a little bit and we're like, oh, we'll hold it out like we have our umbrella. We'll just sit here. We have drinks. And then it kind of started to pick up, but it was crazy, which is typical London weather. Like it was blue skies all around us. And then there was just one big storm cloud. It was just light raindrops started to pick up. And so we decided to go inside and grab some drinks and kind of wait it out a little bit. I don't even know how long we waited, maybe 20, 15, 20 minutes. So we came back out, grabbed our spot, same spots and then dried them off. And then one of the girls who was working the actual court, she was like, okay, this match got moved to from court four to court six. So we relocated, got over there. All of the Wimbledon kids who like work the court and like take the tarp off when it's raining, we're doing that. And so we were like, okay, this is positive. Good, good signs coming. And then it started raining again. So they put the tarp again and it was kind of just like, a never ending cycle and then all of a sudden it was probably 8 15 complete blue sky stopped raining like beautiful rainbows there was a double rainbow and we were like okay all they need is one set because my cousin was up two sets to one so if they just played like if they got 30 minutes in got a set in we would have known if they needed to play a fifth set or if my cousin and his partner would have just won but they decided to call it off and so we pretty much just waited around for like another hour, an hour and a half for them to tell us that they're gonna postpone it to tomorrow. So that'll be interesting to figure out what time he plays. And I'm assuming they can't just keep pushing it back because if they have a set time for the finals, which I think is next Sunday, they can't just keep pushing it and like shortening matches or whatever their plan is. So I'm curious what time he'll play tomorrow. And so we just got home and it started to get like a little cold during the end of the night because the rain brought cold and chill into the air. But other than that, it was really fun. It was super hot during the day today. We went to the like merchandise Wimbledon shop yesterday and today and there's something I really want but I didn't end up getting because it was like 85, 90 pounds just for a sweatshirt. And I got one last year and I haven't even worn it once. It looked the exact same except last year the one I got was white with green letters with the Wimbledon sign on it. This year it was just black and it said like Wimbledon and white across in like a stitched material. But again, I didn't need to spend 90 pounds just for a sweatshirt that who knows how many times I'll wear. But yeah, I think we're gonna just go chill for a little bit. Brogan's finishing up his shower and we're gonna turn on the TV and have a glass of tea and we'll see you tomorrow. So I'm currently headed to Wimbledon right now by myself. Liz went back to the US on Friday and her cousin won yesterday on Friday. And so he advanced to the second round. Um, this is the fourth straight day he's had to at least prepare to play because he got rained out on Wednesday, played three sets on Thursday, and then won yesterday on Friday. Um, so yeah, we'll see if he keeps the mojo going. Hopefully he can pull it off and advance to the third round.